Welcome, bright and eager grade eight students. Welcome to an exciting new chapter of your academic journey. As we step into this realm of discovery and growth, remember that each day holds the potential for new friendships, new challenges, and new horizons. Embrace the opportunity to lie ahead and let your curiosity guide you as you explore the world of knowledge. Our school community is here to support and inspire you every step of the way. Here's to a year filled with learning, laughter, and unforgettable experiences. And welcome to grade A, individual and societies. Before we start with discussing the assignments and our main goal, um, I'd like to start off by illustrating what individual and societies is. It is a large scope under the uh, concept of humanities. We will discover and investigate diverse key concepts, will be, which will be illustrated later on. However, our main goal of the individual and society subject in the MYP is to help you learners understand yourself, your community, and the world better. You will learn about different cultures, histories, and how society work together. This will help you think critically, communicate well, and become responsible global citizens. You will also learn how to research and discuss important issues and make good choices. In other words, uh, expect to have an assignment where you will research an issue that is either related to the local community or an issue that is related to uh, somewhere else globally. And throughout this report, you will reflect on solutions and realistic smart objectives. And we shall discuss this later on throughout the content of the year of how to start to, to discuss or signify smart solutions that are based on uh, being specific, measurable, realistic, achievable, and time specific. Now to discuss it further in each and every unit, you will be covering at least two ATL skills. Similarly to my previous discussion in English, I illustrated that each and ATL skill will be covered probably more than once throughout the unit. However, in each and every unit, we'll be explicitly, fo explicitly focusing on two. Thinking includes critical thinking and creative thinking. Even transferring of knowledge is, er, is perceived as a thinking skill. Self-management includes organization, uh, effectiveness and reflection. Communication is your ability to communicate your ideas and perspectives in a logical, coherent manner. Social collaboration, to collaborate with your peers or to collaborate with your community. It is also expected in grade eight that you will be performing a community project. And specifically in the community project, you'll be focusing on all the ATLs at once. You will also research. Uh, information and uh, in order to gather information uh, and reflect your perspective accordingly. So in each and every unit, we'll be only covering two, for instance, social collaboration and perhaps uh, communication or research and thinking or self-management and communication. It is an ongoing cycle. You'll experience all the ATL skills in, uh, in each and every year and in each and every discipline. Now, in every in every group subject, if you've noticed that every unit or every discipline actually has its own key concepts and individual and societies will be covering the ones that are highlighted in pink. For example, we'll be covering change, such as a change in our uh, particular community. How may this change impact uh, people living in it? Global interactions as global interactions enabled or contributed to our uh, livelihood, perhaps. Time, place, and space. Um, for instance, uh, ancient civilizations and their impact on us today in terms of their innovation, etc. And systems would reflect usually the form of systems that a country runs by, whether a monarchy, a constitutional monarchy, a democracy, uh, and so on. Now, most of you are probably going to be concerned in terms of the formative and summative assessments. However, by now in year three, in grade eight, you're all aware that everything you do in class or outside class 
that is related to the topic where the subject group is considered as formal assessment. So for example, any assignment um, is a formative assessment. You answering and participating in class is a form of a formative assessment. Uh, however, you are not going to be directly marked on it. But for example, if in I and S we're focusing on criterion A and D, where you will reflect your knowledge and understanding and, and represent your ability to think critically, you will perform a written assessment and will be grade will be graded, yet this grade will not be counted. I'll tell you where you stand if this was going to be a formal assessment. And I will give you a constructive feedback to guide you before the summative assessment. The summative assessment will reflect the formative assessment. It is going to be in the same style and probably the same context because it's going to be reflective to the unit we are focusing on. The summative assessment will be graded from zero to eight, eight scoring the highest, and each and every, uh, every strand represents a specific point that should be established throughout your ability to answer the questions or if it's B and C to investigate and communicate your investigation and perspective effectively. To explain this a little bit more, um, in terms of the TSR, which is a task specific rubric, individual and societies is divided into um, four, uh, object, uh, four criteria or objectives. Each and every criteria has specific strands. And uh, the first criteria is known as knowledge and understanding. Um, criterion A, uh, and it focuses on how well you know the important concepts and facts about societies and people. And this will reflect directly to your unit. For instance, if I ask you to define the term consumerism, this is directly related to the context that, that, that will be discussed in class. So this indicates your ability to explain a specific term, determine, um, a specific concept that is evident from the book, etc. So it's, in other words, it is directly related to the context that will be covered. Criterion B, on the other hand, is investigating how good you are at researching and thinking critically. Can you find information from different sources and use it to support your ideas? Uh, in investigating, you will distinguish between primary and secondary resources. And you'll probably formulate a research question in order to uh, provide an action plan for it and find a solution to an existing problem and obviously uh, provide sources that are not only realistic, but reliable. So anything that is older than five years would be considered irreliable. Communicating how well you can express your thoughts in writing and speaking. So this is criterion C. Uh, can you explain your ideas clearly? and in a, way, uh, in a way others can understand. So for example, usually this year, specifically this year actually, we're going to integrate Criterion B and C together. And uh, if you are going to create an investigation and a report, you will then communicate your report by presenting a PowerPoint presentation that is reflective of your findings. And uh, the communication, the ability to communicate your message clearly will be based on a guideline that I shall provide in terms of how you're going to divide your slides to ensure that the message is cohesive and coherent. And finally, criterion D, thinking critically, will be also integrated with uh, knowledge and understanding. So criterion A and D will be assessed together this year. How well you can analyze things, like looking at different viewpoints, finding reasons behind events, and thinking about the impact of decision. So in other words here, you're going to be given probably realistic situations or maybe resources. And I shall ask you to evaluate or analyze the resources based on OPVL, which is the origin, purpose, value, and limitation of the resource itself. In addition, the thinking critically stage will usually reflect to what extent questions that are debatable, where you can construct a essay that is um, directly aligned with your point of view, and the message is coherent and cohesive, and the message is clear for the reader. Do not worry in terms of the criterion. We will discuss them in details based in, in every unit um, and how you're going to be assessed. Um, also, I'd like to end this with uh, a quote that is reflective somewhat to I and S and because it indicates humanities and this is one of the aspects that the earth does not need us, we need the earth. 
and we shall discuss this book further when I meet you all hopefully on Sunday. Let this be a new beginning and a prosperous year. We shall develop together and we shall learn from our experiences and reflect on them accordingly.